Wherefore, stand ye in holy places, and be not moved, until the day of the Lord come. For behold, it cometh quickly, saith the Lord, Amen. To stand in holy places to me means that you're always worthy and righteous to have the Spirit to be with you. To stand in holy places means the world to me. <laughs> and I love the feeling of going to church and being in the temple. For me, to stand in holy place would be anywhere I would want my mom to see me and where I wouldn't be uncomfortable if she was there. Um, I think it means to just be righteous and do everything you can to keep the commandments and be worthy to enter into the temple. To stand in holy places to me means to put yourself in places where the decision of choosing the right is easy. Um, to me, um, standing in holy places means like we're standing in the same place with God and the Spirit's with us and then you can feel like a strong presence there. like in your bosom, that warm feeling you get. Like in the temple, like when I walked into the temple, I felt that warm feeling inside there. I could tell that that was a holy place and the Lord was there. To me, standing in holy places is kind of like my house because, and my family, because I can stay close to them and also stay close to the church. of challenges. You try to find your place to fit in, who's your true friends, and other kind of social pressures. Uh, my challenges that I face is temptation with all my other friends that are not that close to me, but they're really good friends. With all the temptations around me in school, like all the swearing and all the dress code. Um, for me, it's just peer pressure and choosing right friends and being around the right people so that they help me make right choices not to not fall away from the church. Challenges that I face are waking up early for seminary because sometimes I'm just too tired from the night before to get up early. People getting you to do stuff that you know is not right and being scared of what they are going to say if you don't do what they say. Sometimes the music, it sounds good, but sometimes the lyrics aren't, like, the words aren't good words. What I consider temptation is all the bad things, like drugs, drinking, beer. The challenges I face is reading scriptures um, in my free time because it's hard to balance out time with sports and school at times. Overcoming peer pressure is just knowing that only Heaven Father can judge you. It doesn't really matter what other people think. Always remember where I come from, who, I'm, who I am representing. Stay strong to the church. Um, just keep coming to church. Stay worthy. It's the main part. Just trying to go to seminary and do what's right and listen to my parents and do what I was taught since I was young. Spending time with my family so I know that I could continue to do good things and staying close to the church, reading the scriptures so I can still feel the spirit. My advice to youth who are facing challenges is to always know that you have somebody there and that Christ is always watching over you to stand in holy places and be not moved. As the winds of change swirl around us and the moral fiber of society continues to disintegrate before our very eyes, may we remember the Lord's precious promise to those who trust in Him. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand 
of my righteousness. Close quote. What a promise. May such be our blessing. I sincerely pray in the sacred name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.